TRT <laughs> with his first song. Did I say that right? OFTRT. <laughs> yep. So actually, how do we uh, even pronounce your like just OFTRT? OFTRT. Yeah. There's no special way of pronouncing it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. That was OFTRT with Joy. Yep. Yes. So uh, welcome back, everyone, uh, to the Modelao Show. This is episode three. And we are very happy to have you back here in this beautiful space called Zeppelin and Co, located at Sim Lim Square, level two. <laughs> right. Uh, thanks for being here, Dom. Hey, glad to be here. Yeah. Uh, I got to know Dom through uh, through a year in studying in La Salle. Yeah. Uh, I was in the first year, and he was in the third year. So was it? Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, need, needless to say, he's who I look, look up to. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> so uh, I've heard, I've actually heard you play a couple of times uh, in school, and it's quite refreshing to see you bring out your guitar for this set because I've never actually seen you play the guitar yeah. before ever. <laughs> yeah. Do 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 you do that very very often nowadays? Like, bring um, out the guitar. It was just. Like recently, to be honest, like last cup, last month, I would say, yeah, cause I like I never use my guitar in productions because like I didn't have like a proper interface to like or like proper recording system to get the guitar sounding good. So like I just never do it. Then recently okay. I got the the Apollo solo. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah so like th that's when I start started using guitar again. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So 
Actually, do you because it's the Apollo Solo, right? Do you do you usually use a uh, M simulations, or do you actually just use the M itself? Like I just use the pre M on the. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna get some like M simulations, but I haven't gotten it yet. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, but so far it's okay lah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a favorite M to use? <laughs> no eh. To be no. honest, I I don't really know much about like. M's. Okay. Yeah. So you, I, th- I bet that's because you spend more time on producing. I think I guess it's your own unique style of music that actually draws audiences to you. Yeah. So actually, yeah, seeing you playing guitar is very refreshing for me. Right. Yeah. For me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Also, I'd like to talk about. Uh. You recently did. Uh. Like uh, a fee or or rather, you were featured in this playlist uh, called uh, Uploading Volume One, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, tell me more about it. Yeah, so it's um, it's a thing organized by Louis in Triguen. Um, so he, I think the vision was to like create a scene that he he sort of wanted, like electronic scene, and also like I guess give emerging artists like. A platform to play, yeah. So he he got me on the on the first one, uh, which was which was amazing. Cool. Yeah. How how many songs of yours are on there? I don't think it was recorded though. Oh okay. Yeah. Are do you talking about the? Yeah. How how many songs do you do you contribute in to to for that playlist? It was a performance. Oh okay. So yeah. it's just so it's just a single uh section. It was like a it was like a. Four hours set, like okay. So like every person played for like forty five minutes or something. Oh okay okay yeah. okay. So I played like I I think I had like twelve songs or something. Oh okay okay yeah. okay. I I I guess I was thinking about the the one on Spotify, the <laughs> there, oh. there, there, yeah there was this oh, yeah, playlist okay, yeah. uh you was... and yeah a bunch a bunch of others yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. including a uh, crav crevism yeah right? I yeah. think he wanted to also like yeah make something like tangible for like. People who he do, who didn't go for the thing to like also like experience something. Okay, that's yeah. cool. But we we all only gave like one song each. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Um. Why not we go for another song? Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
nice one. That is O F T R T. And uh, may I ask the title of this piece <laughs> if it has one? <laughs> it's untitled. It's untitled. Yeah. Uh, it's so I guess it's it's unreleased as well. Yeah, they're all unreleased. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have any intentions on releasing any of these songs in the near future, maybe? Or I mean, the intention is always there, la, But there's that there's this thing where like you wait a while, you wait too long, and then like the song becomes a bit old, then like you kind of move on from it. Oh, that's what okay. happens with me a lot. La. Like there's a lot of like ideas that just like didn't make it. Okay. Yeah. I guess it's the whole. Uh artistic mentality where during the conception of the song it seems really great yeah. and then after a while it kind of grow or, out or of even it. like like you just move into a whole different phase of like your production your like you know your skill or whatever then it's like oh that sounds like you know then you, if to, to release it you have to like go in and work like an entirely new thing from it seems yeah. like Sp- speaking of production uh, you're mainly using Ableton Live yeah. Right. Uh, is this the only workstation uh, you have used, or you have uh, touched on other workstations as well? So far, it's the only one. Like, I mean, I've tried Pro Tools in school, but you know, that's a bit tough. Pro Tools for and it's music <laughs> creation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the only other one I okay. tried. But so far, Ableton. Uh, okay. But I guess it's just because I started on it first. Like I didn't try any other thing else. I see. But, so yeah. Ableton is your go-to. Go-to, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, moving on. Uh, I would like to actually talk about a cipher you did. Uh, pretty recently, the the one for Bill Weathers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not for him, uh, but uh, not for him. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. I mean, it, his he, sample. He, yeah, his yeah. sample, right? Uh, so who who initiated that project actually? Um, it's by this collect. I guess their label or something, they're called Top Cats. Okay. Yeah, I think it's based in like UK or something. Then I saw FZPZ post the cipher thing. Then I, okay, let me try it. La. Then, yeah, surprisingly, I got in. All right. Yeah. I, I was actually listening uh, to it earlier on, and there are some really amazing interpretations of the samples down right. there. Yeah, yours included, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, also, we were talking about sampling. So I realized uh, you use a lot of samples in your work, right? Um, I start off with a lot of samples. Um, then I guess that's the starting point. Then I resample it like in different stages. So like eventually, like with enough processing, like it's something else. Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, and actually, in your artist profile, you. Uh, use the word uh, granular. Yeah. So this is so. I would. Is it safe to say that uh, you break down the samples into such small chunks uh, that it's pretty unre- unrecognizable anymore? Like after you process it. Yeah, I uh, do. Yeah, granular synthesis a lot. Yeah. Is that uh, your go-to um, way of composing nowadays? Like using granular, or has it um, uh, evolved over time already? I think I definitely use a lot of it like so like usually like one way would be like I write an idea and then like chuck the whole thing into a granulizer and then like that becomes like my palette to like write a song okay yeah so it's like starting from like an idea already and then like digging into those like you know that chunk of sound uh, which, which is which makes it like super full so yeah, it's nice. Okay, so um, I saw you have uh quite a lot of releases uh for twenty twenty, uh quite a few singles that you yeah, just yeah. released this year. Uh, are are they all following a common theme or are they really just uh as individual as they can be as, like a, a project on its own individually. Mm, I would say they all kind of follow each other because I release them so close that my where I am is like that spot right so yeah. like they all kind of have the same kind of aesthetic to yes. it um, but I don't think like I, I wrote them like connected yeah 
it's just exploring like what I'm interested in in that phase. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, how about uh, you take us through a couple more of your pieces? Okay. <laughs>
Right, that was OFTRT with a medley of some of his unreleased tunes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you like what you're watching and if you like his music, you can check him out. Uh, his music is uh, on all major streaming platforms. And yep. where can we find you on, on social media? Um, Instagram, like everything is OFTRT, so it's easy. And, and Facebook as well, Twitter? Yeah. Uh, don't use Twitter. All right. Yeah. So uh, mainly just Facebook and, and Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, mainly Instagram. Yeah, that's where I put a lot of my sketches. All right. Yeah. Cool. Thanks so much for being here, hey, man. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, so we have come to the end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so we've come to the end of this episode. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in with us. Before we leave you, we'd like to thank our venue sponsors for this really wonderful space to film and host our show. Uh, it's called Zeppelin & Co. If you want to upgrade your audio listening experience and have a cup of coffee in hand, please come to this place. Yeah, it has got you. Now, uh, if you like what you're watching, please like, subscribe, comment and share this video and I'll see you next time.